What's up? What's up? What's up? Hope you're having a phenomenal day. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you're watching this live or on the replay, drop in the comments how you're feeling today. What's going on? Let's check in with each other. Uh, and remember, your language is powerful. The way you describe your day, the way you talk about yourself, the way you talk about your life is going to impact everything. How you feel, your perspective, your attitude, and the actions you take and ultimately the results you get. We talk about this all the time. Uh, today, I want to talk to those men out there who are doing it all, man. Uh, I want to give you guys a shout out. If you're a father, business owner, just working hard in your job, uh, family man, just trying to put all the pieces together, it's not easy, right? It's not easy, but for me personally, it's one of the most fulfilling journeys I've ever embarked upon in life. Raising children, um, being a dedicated husband, running a business, you know, it's it's tough, but it's so rewarding and it's so fulfilling. But what I'm seeing is a lot of men start to feel depleted and overwhelmed with all of their responsibilities. And over time, they stop prioritizing themselves. You know, there's so many, there's only so many hours in the day and we have to take care of a lot of people. We have a lot of things on our mind, a lot of priorities. And a lot of men start to neglect their own health and self care. And over the years, it's evident in their weight gain, in their, their mood, their energy. Uh, you see a lot of men who start to get stressed out and they really lose that purpose, that drive inside of them that they once possessed. You know, when we're younger, we have that clarity, that focus for pursuing that vision and we know what we want in life. And then over the years, a lot of individuals start to get beat down by life, you know, and then suddenly it's just the grind, you know, the work schedule, the work week. Um, and there's a lack of real fulfillment there. You know, it's like just paying the bills, earning money, taking the periodic vacations. But I want to ask that individual if you're watching right now, are you fulfilled? Do you feel in your heart that you're living out a purpose driven life? Like, do you go to sleep at night just excited and just overcome with joy for the way you're living and for what you're creating and what you're doing? You know, if not, then I would say there's a problem there. If you're not going to sleep at night thinking, damn, that was a 10 out of 10 day. Damn, I love my life, man. We're just, we're just moving towards something so amazing. This is so beautiful. I, I'm just in love with this journey. If you don't have those feelings, there's something wrong. You, you know, a lot of people get fooled and tricked into thinking that life can't be that way, that after childhood, it's a grind. You know, you got to just provide for your family. You get that safe and secure job. But doing those things doesn't lead to the feeling that we're after. A lot of people lack that feeling of purpose. They lack that internal feeling, that internal state of not just well-being, but like living an extraordinary life. You know, and then you see the symptoms, right? The symptoms are a loss of motivation, feeling tired all the time. Stress starts to get to you. Right. And then what do we do? We try to seek out things that numb that feeling or um, help us to feel better in the moment. Food, alcohol, smoking, taking little pills, watching porn, whatever your vice is, whatever it is that you're doing to try to help you feel better. Those things aren't going to help you. They're temporary. They're temporary, but they don't resolve the root cause of what you're experiencing. What you're experiencing is a lack of clarity due to a lack of purpose because you're not taking care of yourself and you're not investing in your personal growth and development every single day. And when you stop developing yourself, you start to become stagnant. And anyone seeing a stream that becomes stagnant starts to fester. That's where bacteria and diseases and all these things start to derive. Same thing happens to you internally and that corrupts everything in your life. Your marriage, your relationship with your children, your morale at work, probably your finances over time, and just the quality of your life in its entirety. Your health, your health starts to decline. Why do so many people have high blood pressure? Why are so many people diabetic? Why are so many people obese? Why do so many people lack consistency in taking care of this gift that you've been given, your body, your health, right? This is vitality. And if you're not investing in your health every single day, you're not gonna feel the way you wanna feel and you're not gonna show up in life as the individual you wanna be. But when you start to invest in yourself daily and you have routines that elevate that internal state, you're going to show up when you walk into a room with a completely different energy, your facial expressions, your body language, your tonality, people can feel that there's a transference of energy that takes place. I talk about this all the time. It happens when you talk to your kids. It happens when you're engaging with your wife. It happens when you're talking to your employer or your team or your associates at work. It doesn't matter. They feel that transference of energy and you can't fake it. It's something that you cultivate and create within through your daily actions. But for most people, they're conditional. They're conditional motherfuckers that do things when it's convenient for them or when they feel like it. 
And they're inconsistent because of that. Because here's the truth, you're not gonna wake up 365 days a year and feel like doing this stuff that helps you to improve who you are and elevate the quality of your life. Do you think I wanna get up at 3.30 in the morning every day? No, my bed's comfy, I'm tired. My wife's right there. I want to cuddle with her. I want to sell a couple more hours. But I know when I do that, it puts me in a state of regret, right? Because I know that I'm on a mission and I know getting up early helps me to get clarity and center my mind for the day so that I can show up for my wife and kids with that positive attitude so that I can show up for my clients with that energy, with that discipline as that leader. And it just sets the tone for my entire day. So what I've done is I've created non-negotiables that I live my life by. Exercise is one too. Exercise always creates that spark within that elevates my mood, that gives me clarity, that helps me to feel better, that shows up better, right? So why would I do these things sometimes? So many people are wondering why they don't feel the way they wanna feel, it's because they're conditional. They do it sometimes, they do it when they feel like it. But then on Sunday when they're hungover or Monday comes and they're still tired or they're just not feeling it that day or their back's kind of hurt or they, they're fighting a cold or they ate too much the night before, like there's always a reason why not to. They're never gonna go away. But it's what you're allowing to dictate the way you live. If you believe in those things, they're gonna control your daily actions. But imagine if you could elevate your mental state to a point where those excuses don't even exist. That other option, that other path isn't even there. What if all you could see is the straight path ahead of you that aligns to the man you want to be and the life that you want to create? I'm talking about fulfillment, purpose, love, self-actualization. Imagine when you elevate yourself and lift your person, you at the deepest level to that level, how it's gonna raise those around you, how it's gonna impact those around you, how it's gonna make your children feel, your wife feel, everybody in your life. Imagine if you get to the point where it's not even about you anymore, your wake up time, your workouts, your routines, your self care, the food you eat, if all of that isn't even about you and what you want, but it's so that you can become the best self to give that person to other people. Because you are literally an offering to other people. When you walk into a room and you leave that room, do you leave those people better off or worse off than before? I spoke about this yesterday. Everything that you do comes back to you and the way you're caring for yourself. And I just don't understand how so many people, especially men who have so many responsibilities, start to neglect themselves over time and let themselves become a lesser version. If you're not working out daily, if you're not dedicated to your personal routines, if you're not educating yourself, if you're not building new relationships, if you're not challenging old beliefs and elevating your mental state, like if you're not growing, then you're stagnant and you're going to feel it in here. And so too are the people around you. And you can't fake that. And so many people are in denial, you know, and they think that they need that drink, those pills, that stuff they do secretly behind closed doors, smoking right? But every time you break promises to yourself and then try to chase it down with a drink, all that does is fester within you. All that does is corrupt you internally. It doesn't make that truth go away about what you just did or didn't do. You know your mind, your spirit, your internal state is keeping score and the result is the way you feel in your life. And if you're not waking up every day excited like a kid on Christmas morning, if you're not going to bed every night just thinking, man, that was a 10 out of 10 day, I love my life, then you're missing out because that's possible for all of you. If I could experience this in a jail cell with nothing, why can't you right now? Why can't you tap into this energy, this source, this truth, this fulfillment, this purpose within you? Why aren't you living that life that you wanna live? Why aren't you living as that person that you envision becoming? Because we all have that vision, we all have that truth, we all have that intuition, our conscience that's calling us to be more, to push harder, to not let these excuses and these reasons why to hold us back. You know, it's that internal battle. Are you winning this fight or are you allowing it to defeat you? Are you conditional? Are you winning sometimes but not all the time? Is that good enough for you? Is that your standard? Are you want to be here like everyone else or do you want to transcend? And when you're dying on your deathbed, if you get the opportunity to look back on your life, do you want to think, damn, that was a hell of a life, man. That was a life worth living. God, I didn't hold back. I didn't allow fear to dictate the way I lived. I didn't make excuses. I was all in every moment. And I know people felt that and I know it helped them to change their lives or I know it inspired them to take some form of action. I know my kids were better off because of the way I showed up. I know my wife loved me for who I was and the way I lived our lives together. Like, man, don't you want that? Because you only get to do this once. And when you get to the end, you're not going to get to say, hey, I'm ready for round two. We don't know what comes next. Some of you believe you do, but we don't know because you've never been there. 
We've never been there, but you have this moment right here. You've been gifted this moment, this life, these passions, your vision, that purpose within you. It's time to tap in and unveil that purpose and live it in every moment. I'm here to serve you when you're ready. The men in my unstoppable coaching program are massively changing their lives because we hold each other to a completely different standard. There's no excuses. There's no limitations. It's who do you want to be and how can we support you to be that man every day for every moment that you're alive. And when you allow yourself to embrace that truth in your heart and you become willing to, to pursue that vision and you're courageous enough to take the daily actions, You'll experience this form of inspiration, this energy within that you lost a long time ago. If you're that person that's feeling a loss of motivation, you know there's a purpose for you in your life, but you're not tapped in. It's time to get around people who are firing on all cylinders so you can feel that energy. And then you can use that as a catalyst to spark your growth, your development, and the life that you're meant to live. I love all of you. I hope you're having a great day. I hope this message received someone that was meant to see it today and hear it. And if it did resonate with you, please send me a message. I'm always here to talk and share some insights. I hope you guys go crush it today. There's so much more for you to tap into. You have so much more to give. You have so much strength. You have more resolve, more resiliency. You are made for more. Can't you see it? I know you feel it. I know when you go to bed at night, you question and wonder, is there more for me? Can I achieve more? Why am I holding back? This is the chance right now to let go of your limitations, to believe in the person you want to be, not the one you settled for. Click the link and join my program. I promise I'll walk with you side by side and show you the way. Let's take action right now to be the man that you want to be. No no more excuses. This is for you and your family right now. Let's go. There's so much.